Hello, welcome back to V Jones Style channel. I'm so excited. Today's video is going to be another top 20, and this one is the top 20 items in my closet that are very Gucci inspired. to be sharing another top 20 with you. I loved doing this last time for my top 20 fall pieces and I thought since we're doing the all-out Gucci theme this month of November it would be fun to share the top 20 items in my closet that are my essential go-to Gucci inspired pieces. These are the things that I'm going to wear anytime I'm channeling some of that Gucci magic. These are my repeating items. I will tell you some of the items that I featured in my top 20 for fall are definitely some of the pieces that I wear when I'm doing Gucci inspired looks, of course, like the tiger robe, but I wanted to select items today that I haven't shared with you before. So these are all new items, fresh items, and to be honest, I shared top 20 fall items. These really could just be considered more top 20 fall items because I love so many of these as well. And like I said, they're all Gucci inspired. So let's start first with one of my favorite sections, which is always outerwear and the blazer section. And I feel like Gucci is known for their suiting menswear, blazers, that whole look. And so I have so many blazers. I love to collect them. And I have a few besides the ones I sh already showed you in my fall recap of uh, my favorite top 20 items. I have a few more that are the ones that I go to a lot when I'm creating my Gucci inspired looks. So let me show you the first one. This is one of my absolute favorite blazers to pull out when I'm creating Gucci looks. It is houndstooth and it's kind of a gray blue and it's lightweight, which I really love. I got this when I was in New York a few years ago and it just was so perfect. I love this because it really is kind of seasonless. I can wear this in fall, spring, maybe not summer, and I can wear it in winter and just depending on how I style it up. And this to me is so Gucci. Anytime I want to create Gucci looks, I always want to do some mixing prints and some quirky dressing and I feel like this blazer always comes into play and I've worn it in so many different ways. One in particular that I'm thinking of is I wore this with all over plaid. So in all the same tone, I did plaid pants, a plaid shirt, a houndstooth blazer, and just went full on mixing of prints. But this is one of my absolute go-tos when it comes to creating Gucci looks. Okay, the next one is one of my absolute favorite blazers. It's really funny because I haven't worn this recently. And something that happened last time when I did my top 20 is that it actually made me revisit all of the pieces that I talked about and want to style them up more often. And so this is going to be one of them. This is a Scotta, but feels so very Gucci. It's perfectly tailored pink plaid blazer. It's got incredible button detail, which I really love the gaudy gold on it. And I love all the colors in this. I love that it's pink and green and blue, and it's kind of more of a scalloped tailored blazer, which I really love. It has this rounded shoulder. And I wear this a lot when it comes to styling Gucci pieces. One in particular way that I wore this was I styled this blazer up with the artist Always Play Dress Up Tee, and I paired it with the wide leg orange Ghani denim. I love to do Gucci looks with this blazer and play with color and play with print mixing. And I'm thinking I'm gonna hang this baby right up here because I wanna remember to wear this because I haven't worn it this fall and so it needs to come out and play for sure. And then the third and final blazer that I wanna show you is seriously, it's such an incredible piece. This is a leather quilted blazer. This is from Banana Republic. I found this at Crossroads a few years ago now, and to me, this is such a great blazer to work into some Gucci looks. I love that it's that classic brown that you see in a lot of their looks, and it even plays on some of the equestrian vibes that we saw for um, the 2021 show. 
And I love the idea of doing menswear looks with this, but also pairing this with some kind of ladylike secretary dressing. So doing some midi length skirts, doing, you know, a print blouse with this, quirky socks, platform shoes. So this is one of my favorites. Okay, if we're gonna talk about Gucci inspired pieces, we have to talk about a suit. And I have one of the most magical three pieces suit that is so Gucci. It's this amazing velvet three piece suit. It has the jacket, it has the pants, and even has, I wanna show you because it's so good, even has the, you know, 1960s, 70s vest that goes with it. It's this gorgeous kind of dark and moody floral print, which I love. And this was found, I think I've told this a few times, but it was a birthday weekend. I was out in Palm Springs with some of my girlfriends and one of my friends found this for me at a Goodwill and was like, Beth, I think you're gonna love this. And she was so right. This has been one of my absolute favorite pieces. And it's funny because it hangs in my back closet during you know the warmer months because it's very heavy and, and velvet but every season I get so excited when I get to pull this baby back out. And it is so fun. I feel like I'm pulling these all out right now and it's totally inspiring me to wear a lot of these, but I've definitely done a lot of Gucci inspired looks with this. I know I've worn it with, you know, some secretary bow tie blouses. I've done it with some kind of Western uh, pieces like boots and hats, but it is one of my absolute favorite pieces. I always feel so fabulous in this and I do love that I can kind of do the three-piece suit or I could just do the pants and the jacket or separate them all and wear them in different ways. Okay let's move on to some pants and if I was going to pick two I you know in my fall recap I shared some of my plaid pants that are felt very Gucci but I wanted to show you another pair. These are another of my favorite Gucci inspired pants. I got these from um Gosh, Seattle Vintage. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'll put their name right here. And they were selling at Golden Years, and I got these a few years ago, and I just love it. I mean, anytime you're doing Gucci and you can find some 70s high waist trousers, and they're this amazing plaid. I've styled this so many different ways. I've done kind of more of the athletic look with this. I've paired it with an Adidas t shirt and loafers and socks. I've piled on, you know, the blazers, and I've had a lot of fun creating some Gucci magic in this. And I do love the colors in this, feel very on brand for Gucci with the green and the red and the cream and all the classic 70 colors. Okay, these are nothing, you know, to look at. These might not be something special, but I, if I had to pick a pant, that are some of my absolute favorite in my closet. It is these. And they're my chocolate brown 1970s. These are probably polyester. They're called Bend Over is the brand. So if you wanna look for that, I think that was a big thing in the 70s, but they fit so perfectly. And I feel like I can create so many Gucci inspired looks with these. They just feel so classic. I recently just styled them up when I did the Bonham's dress up party at Chelsea Vintage and we paired them with a camel blazer. We did the really great printed blouse and scarf and these are just essentials. You need to have some 70s high waist trouser pants in your closet and if they're chocolate brown then I think they're pretty special. And now we're going to move on to the category of vests because Gucci always works in some knit vests vests in general in the upcoming Gucci Love Parade show. They did more of the tuxedo, you know, drop style vests, so I'll definitely be on the hunt for vests like that. But if I'm going to pick for now, I'm going to say two of my favorite knit vests that always come into my Gucci looks. And this one is one of my all-time favorites. You all often ask, where did I get this? Can I buy this from you? I'll let you know, this is American Eagle. So if you want to hunt on Poshmark or eBay or something like that, that is what you can look for. It has dogs on the front and it's the perfect 70s shrunken little scoop neck vest that just looks so great with so many of the Gucci looks. I love to wear this with, you know, high waist skirts, bow tie blouses, layer blazers over this. I can do this with some plaid pants. Just so many Gucci looks always come together when I put this vest on. And then we're gonna go the opposite direction and pick out a very oversized vest. And ah, this is one of my all time favorites. It's so funny when I was filming my top 20 fall, I hadn't put this in my closet yet. I think it wasn't 
cool enough outside to wear it yet. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorites. I can't believe I didn't talk about it. But you know what? This is the better opportunity because to me, this is so perfect for my Gucci-inspired looks. I know I wore this with my tiger robe and pants and created some fun Gucci looks. I layer this over dresses to create some Gucci magic as well. So I love to play with this. Oh, and I think sometimes I've worn this just with a pleated skirt. And then this is the showstopper and nothing else. That's kind of a fun way to play with layering up looks without being too hot. But to me, this is the perfect Gucci vest. It's orange and yellow and brown. And I found this. You can go back and watch. I did a video with Maddie. The very first video I did with her, we went to the thrift store and I found this baby. And I'm just so glad I came home with it. Another essential in all of my Gucci looks and moving on to the category of tops is any 1970s inspired bow tie blouses. I like to sometimes call them secretary blouses. And I'm going to show you two because they're both kind of similar. <laughs> they always come into play whenever I'm looking for this look. And that is taking one of these blouses with the bow ties on the front and a fun little print. This has the polka dot. This is a great little chain detail. This is old uh, Banana Republic that I've had forever. And then this is a vintage piece that I've for a little while as well and these have come into play a lot when I style up my Gucci inspired looks and I always think having these classic 70s bow tie blouses in your closet is so essential when you're creating Gucci and something that Gucci did just a few seasons ago that I think is so much fun is the use of the jersey shirt and I found this I think I had seen the collection and they showed a really oversized jersey with a pleated skirt and then I was on the hunt and I found this which is so much fun I think this is Green Bay Packers so let me know if you're a Packers fan if I'm on on track on point but vintage jersey I love how oversized it is it really is the look that we see in their collection of worn with the long dramatic sleeves. I love to throw this over turtlenecks, do some layering with it, tuck it in with some pleated skirts, and just have that Gucci athleisure look. Moving on to skirts, I would definitely say the one that I showed in the fall version of this video, the pleated, you know, floral print skirt. That is probably my ultimate skirt, but I didn't want to repeat, so I wanted to show another classic that I love. And this is this green pencil skirt midi length. I love it has Western little details on the pockets right there. And I love it's that Gucci green. <laughs> As you can see in my nails, it perfectly matches. I love that. And I got this last fall. So I actually, I don't think I've worn it that much. I only have a few outfits that I can think of that I've worn it. And so this is a good little reminder to me to pull this out and create some fun Gucci inspired looks with this skirt. And I do, I love green. I love when they style with green and so I'm excited to do some more with this. Okay, we're going to move on to dresses. I'm going to feature one, but I do want to mention, of course, my butterfly dress that I showed last time and also that incredible print dress with the really dramatic collar. Both of those are my essential dresses when it comes to Gucci looks, but I want to pick one more out and it's this really great floral 1970s dress. It has buttons that go down the front it has a bow tie, which I love. It's a very dramatic one, too, which I, I love that. And then it has a really great all-over floral print. And I've had a lot of fun dressing this up with Gucci inspiration, putting on some really big glasses, doing platform shoes or print mixing, and wearing it with socks and tights. This is from Cheeky Muse. She's a vintage shop on Poshmark, so definitely check her out. She has such an amazing selection. And this dress is just so incredible. I love it. It's the length, the fact that it has buttons down the front, I feel like makes it really unique because you can do some interesting layering with it. And even though it's a little bit more of that springtime color, I feel like you can totally make this work for fall. And even this will look so cute with my vest. That would be a really fun idea. I wonder if I've done that before. Sometimes I forget what I've worn. I've worn a lot of outfits. Um, anyway, so this is a really perfect Gucci inspired dress. Okay, the fun thing with this video is I'm going to break down a few of my accessories and shoes that really come into play. And I feel like that's a great way to create the Gucci look is through all of the accessories that you wear. And first, I want to talk about shoes. 
I'm gonna show you the shoes that I'm wearing because I was of course dressing up some Gucci looks today and these are the ultimate I love this black and white loafer it has a heel these are Tamara Melon and they sent them to me last year and I absolutely love them I've worn these in so many Gucci inspired looks I even wore them recently when I did the falling for trends photo shoot I did them with that really incredible set suit thing that I have but I always pull these out and they were perfect for my <laughs> Gucci inspired look today um, and I love the black and white uh, contrast it's just a really great pop and then my last pair of shoes that are the most classic looking version of the Gucci look is the loafer. I don't have actual Gucci loafers, which I feel like I need to get, but these are really fun and they totally come into play in a lot of my Gucci looks. I love the big gaudy gold chain detail on them and these are from Mango. I think I got them last year and I think I saw the ad with a girl in Mango wearing them and I was like, immediate yes I have to have those and I love them I also love that these work really well in the spring as well because I can just throw them on with so many looks and do the not sock look or I can do it with the sock with the stocking they're just so much fun and anytime anything has gaudy gold on it it makes me so happy in the category of footwear <laughs> let's talk about Gucci's love for socks stockings tights all the fun things and I'm gonna pick out my favorite that I love to use for Gucci looks and that is these zigzag brown socks they're from Target from a few years ago I actually used to have a black and white pair too I have lost them you know how socks get eaten I don't know where they end up but these are my favorites when it comes to pulling out some quirky socks and doing some Gucci looks and I have a whole collection of fun playful socks but if I had to pick one I would say these this is a new piece that I have recently seen on the Gucci runway, and that's the Gucci Love Parade show. And you guys have seen this in my What I Wear in a Week. I think I wore this a few times. But it's the really incredible classic cowboy hat, and I have this amazing version that's corduroy, and it has this really great stitching ribbon that runs across the top, and then even has a little buckle situation right here so I feel like I can put a fun feather in it if I want to but I'm so excited to work this into a lot of my Gucci looks I've already been doing that with a few of these recent outfits as you see but it's just fun and I love the idea of pairing this with a dress or a skirt and kind of doing something unexpected by putting the cowboy hat on I do want to find one that's not corduroy I'd love to find like a felt version or a black one just to mix in because I think sometimes the corduroy makes me think a little bit more like country. And so I want to have one that's maybe like city chic. Let's grab the bags. Of course, I have to show the classic <laughs> Gucci clutch. This is a vintage version and it's, you know, so iconic, so great. And then I think something else that comes into play a lot with Gucci looks is belt bags. And I love this one from HFS Collective in the leopard print. I love cinching in waists with these and just creating that Gucci look. I really, really need to buy my own <laughs> Gucci belt bag from them. And I've been eyeing it for a while and I just need to pull the trigger. And if we're going to talk about Gucci, one of my number one things that I always pull out. Oh, are a parade of quirky glasses and I have three really fun ones these are all from Zenny Optical a lot of them are the Iris Atfill collaboration and I just love these square glasses I did these with a custom green lens <gasps> they're so much fun and to me these are just like essential when I'm creating the Gucci looks is just putting on quirky oversized glasses if I had to pick one pair of earrings that I've used in so many of my Gucci looks, it's my Pearl Starburst earrings. I feel like this is very much when Gucci, when Alessandro McKelly, which I've been learning, I think I say it wrong, so I'm trying to say it more correctly. I think it's McKelly. When he first took over Gucci as the designer, he did a lot of this look in the outfits which I don't feel like is happening as much but I still just love them and to me they're so 
fun and just those pieces that you just throw on and it feels like fun frosting on top of the cake. And we always see a lot of chain belts. I have a lot, but I'm going to pick one. And this one to me is just so perfect. It's that great gaudy gold. It's got really large chains and the balls with it and you can just cinch it in. I love to do double belting and throw a few chains on. And you just see a lot of waist cinching in Gucci's looks. And so to pull out a great gaudy gold chain belt and cinch it in is always fun. And then I just want to show one final piece that I'm so excited about. I saw it all over the Gucci Love Parade show and that is the bow tie and especially that vintage bow tie. I got this from Ronnie at Retro Blades and when I think she styled a look with me and we used it and I was like, I have so good and I'm so glad I did because I just feel like it's so perfect for just creating the Gucci look throwing on the icing and really Gucci is all about the always play dress up mentality of just more is more fun there's no rules to follow I even feel like with the collections it doesn't even feel like we're like oh we're only in the spring or we're only in fall it's really just timeless fun maximalist dressing which is why I absolutely love it and have a massive crush <laughs> on everything that Gucci's doing and those are some of the essential items the top items in my closet that I use when I'm creating my Gucci looks and I'm excited I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a lot of them out right now and style them up but definitely this one for sure and that's it for today's video this was so much fun to recap all of the items in my closet that i love that are very gucci inspired that i have a lot of fun dressing up gucci looks with also just wanted to give you a quick heads up next week is thanksgiving week I will have a Tuesday video that is coming out, but I will not have a Thursday video. Thursday is Thanksgiving here in the United States, and so I will be doing that. So there'll just be one video next week. So tune in on Tuesday for some Beach style fun, and then come back after the Thanksgiving week. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and finally, always play dress up. Bye! <laughs>